welcome again to our English re-lesson in quarter 4. Pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. Tables and graphs are visual representations of data. They are used to show the relationships of information. They are used to compare one or more value in an organized way. In this lesson, you are expected to interpret pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. Here is, is an example. Trina's sister is a baker. She sells different goodies and sells her to her friends and neighbors. On Mother's Day, she sold different flavors of crinkles. Here is the sample table for the situations. Crinkles sold on Mother's Day. In the first column, we have flavors of crinkles. And the second column, is the number of boxes sold. For the chocolate, we have 18 boxes sold. For yam flavor, 13 number of boxes sold. For ube, 8. Red velvet, 15. Buku pandan, 15 boxes sold. Now, try to answer the question number 1. What is the title of the table? Look the title of our table. The answer is Green Cow Sold on Mother's Day. For the second question, which flavor of green cows has the most number of boxes sold? What is your answer? The answer is chocolate flavor are the crinkles chocolate flavors of crinkles number three which flavor of crinkles have the same sales the answers are red velvet and bubu pandan who got the same as 15 number of boxes sold number four how many boxes of Yema crinkles sold? The answer is 13. Number 4. Which flavor of crinkles have the least sale? The answer is Ube. 8 number of boxes sold. Then, how many boxes are sold on Mother's Day? The answers, all you have to do is add these numbers, 18 plus 13 plus 8 plus 15 and 15 is equal to 69. 69 number of boxes sold on Mother's Day. Good job! And we have a task number 2, featuring the bar graph. Let's read first the selection. The PE teacher of EM Signal Village Elementary School conducted a survey of the favorite sports of grade 3 pupils. The teacher asked them to choose only one among the given sports, basketball, running, football, swimming, and tennis. Look the picture. This is an example of a bar graph. At the side, we can see the number of students or number of pupils. Then below, we have basketball, running, football, tennis, swimming, and these are what we call the kind of sports. Above is the title, Favorite Sports of Grade 3 Pupils. Now, answer for number one. What is the title of the graph? 
of course, favorite sports of grade 3 PPLs. Then we have number 2. Which is the most favorite sports of the grade 3 pupils? The answer based on the bar graph. That's it, basketball. For number 3, which is the least favorite sports of grade 3 pupils? The answer is running. Next for number 4, which two sports have the same results? The answer is football and swimming. Then, we have the question here. How many PPOs were asked in the survey? That is 40. All you have to do is add 13, 5, 7, 8, and 7. Good job, kids! Now, graphs and tables have a title that tells what the graph or the table is all about. It has labels showing the content data. Then we have class number 3, featuring the pictograph. Ramirez family donated face masks to their neighboring barangay as part of their advocacy to prevent the spread of coronavirus. So we will be showing you the data through this pictograph. This pictograph shows the donated face mask of Ramirez family. At the side, you can also see the name of barangays. Above is what we call the key or the legend that it is equivalent to 10. One box of face mask is equivalent to 10 boxes of face mask. For example, let us read here. The Masagana or Barangay Masagana have five boxes of face masks. That is equal to 50 boxes of face masks. You have to multiply 10 times 5 is equal to 50 because one box is equivalent to 10 boxes according to our key or legend. In Pag-asa, we have 4 boxes here in the picture. So, that is 10 times 4 is equal to 40 and so on. Now, try to answer for number 1. What is the title of the pictograph? That is the naked face mask of Ramirez family. For number 2, how many barangays received donations of face masks? The answer is 5. Barangay Masigana, Pag-asa, Masikap, Matulungin, and Mapayapa. Next question, how many boxes of face masks did Barangay Pag-asa receive? The answer is... 40. That's right. For number 4, which barangay has the highest number of face masks received? The answer is Barangay Mapayapa. Then, how many boxes of face masks did the family Ramirez donate in all? What could be the answer? All you have to do is count all the boxes and multiply it by 10. So, the answer is 270 boxes. Very good, children. Now, 
pictograph or picture graph is a graph that uses pictures or symbols to show or represent data. Pictographs make it easier to study and compare numbers and information given. It uses a key how to show what or how much each picture represents. Remember the following. Tables of graphs are visual representation of data to show the relationships of information. They have title that tells what the graph or the table is about. It has a label that shows the kind of data presented. Pictograph is a type of graph that uses symbols or pictures. It has a key that shows how much each symbol stands for. And that was all about our lesson about the simple graph, pictograph, and tables. And thank you so much for listening and thank you for participating. I'd like to see you again in our next video lesson. Keep safe and God bless.